Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance and if this is your first time watching my name is Melanie Kate Love, self love makeover artist where I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you to learn to love yourself flaws and all, trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now this week in weekly angel guidance we're going to be going through three phases of the moon and one of them is actually going to be part of the next phase of our eclipse. So to get you started, this week we're going to be starting off on Monday, finishing off the first quarter of the moon, which is where we take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So that's going to be finishing off this cycle. So I hope that you have been already working on your, um, your projects and you're taking inspired action. Then on Tuesday, Tuesday we move into the gibbous moon. This is where we trust the process as everything is always working out for us. So that's Monday and then Tuesday and then on which day is it? On Saturday we move into the lunar eclipse full moon in Aquarius. This is our full moon. This is asking us to release anything that no longer serves our highest good. Now, this lunar full moon eclipse in Aquarius is in 44 degrees and four minutes. So we've got four, four, four. I'll just put on the screen right now what the numerology relates to in that. Four is the number that corresponds to stability. So maybe there's Oh, I don't know, there's just lots going on with this week, <laughs> needless to say. Oh, and I just looked at the clock and it said 222. Two, two. Anyways, so there's lots going on this week. As you know, eclipse season is like supercharged energy. So, also, I was watching a lot of astrology videos, and let me just check my notes to make sure I get this right. This eclipse that we're going to be going through, this lunar eclipse, is the longest eclipse of this century. It is going to go for one hour and 23 minutes. One is a new chapter, two and three, add them together, the numerology is five. Five is like massive transformation and change. So this eclipse is so important, so please pay particular attention to um, the cards that come up today, we're going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. And please keep in mind, if you're new, this is just a general reading. So just take from this reading what truly feels best for you. There could be one card, that all of the cards could mean something to you. It just depends. If you're finding yourself like ridiculously overwhelmed and you need extra help and clarity and guidance, then this is when you need to book yourself a private reading so I can give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity to help you get on the right track for this eclipse time. But as you know, full moons is a very emotional time and, and it's a time where forgiveness is paramount and that's the whole reason why I created my Forgiveness Heals Guided Meditation. But I'll talk more about that later as we get into that phase of the moon. All right, let's see what we need to know for the action phase of the moon. All right, angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know the action stage of the moon? Just one card, please. There it is. <laughs> okay, so the action phase of the moon, we actually got the moon card. This is interesting. The moon card is like showing us like healing our unhealed wounds. Maybe as you're going into this um, this action phase, you know, you're noticing contrast is coming up and you're noticing that there actually may be some resistance in your vibration as you go through. On one hand, she's got like a, it looks like a love heart on a stick that's like tied to her wrist or his wrist. It looks like a girl. Have a look where my finger is right there. Can you see that? So on one side she's got love and then it's like she's experienced contrast. She like she knows love. Is she facing towards love? No, she's not. It's like she's oh I've never heard I've never been able to decipher this one before. It's like she's turning her way away from loved and she's looking at the shadow aspects of her soul because she's holding in the other hand the mask. These masks remind me of like Italy. It's like, I feel like now she wants to like take off her mask and she's looking at it and she's like, 
I, w I see this as like she's looking at who she used to be and she's saying like thank you thank you thank you and it's like the the love is like is like and then I heard Katy Perry song um Jane do the rhythm dun, 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 dun. What's the words? So constantly living in a bumble bumble. Are we don't I don't know the words of that song. Listen to that song, Change the Rhythm from Katy Perry, because that's what I see in this card here. It's like I feel like you don't want to be chained to the rhythm anymore, you want to be seeking love. And it's like you're just healing these unwound these I, I feel like because we're in it a new chapter and you're doing things that you know like are literally scaring the bejeebus out of you but you know that you're destined for greatness because last week it was all about giving yourself permission to shine and I think that's how we felt um, going into the new moon uh, the the first quarter of the moon which is the action stage so we're finishing we've just got one day left of that and I feel like on Monday it's like but she's taken the mask off her face, so I feel like she's just breaking down layers. And she knows that love's going to set her free. I think that's why the love is like, is, um, it's, I see it almost like having a tattoo, like it's just, it's there. Does that make any sense? It's like she's releasing blockages. It's like she's stepping into her power and she knows what no longer serves her and she's looking at it and she's like, I don't even recognize this person anymore but it's like you look at it and you just say thank you thank you thank you what what's the lesson in this and then as you learn from that lesson and then you can set yourself free it's like she still is looking at it in the hands it's not like she's turning to love just yet it's so interesting because I pulled this card so many times but I saw this very different differently today and it's interesting that that actually came up on the action stage so that's to help you out for Monday I'm just going to just do one card for that one. All right, let's see what we need to know for the Gibbous Moon. So trusting the process. What do we need to know, angels? What do my MK Love fam need to know for the Gibbous? Oh, the Gibbous Moon. Oh, thanks. I love how they just fly out. Yeah. King of Wands. Wow. And I just hear, rawr, rawr. like, look at this lion. It's like, um, is it neat? Night, yeah. So this is like wands. So this is passion. This is like moving forth with your passion. It's like you've become on a roll now. I think that like as you really like took the mask off and you really like stopped telling yourself the same story you always have, it's like you really like... I feel like the action and the momentum is still going. It's like you finally have addressed what doesn't serve you or you've come to terms with where you are and you've actually like made a change. Gonna make a change for once in my life. Um, then I, it's gonna be real good. I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna make it right. Da, 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 da. Oh, I love Michael Jackson. Oh, oh, that's why I heard it. Um, it's the man in the mirror. Oh, I'm asking him to change his ways. Oh, I got goosebumps. And no message could be in any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, look, look, take a look in yourself and make the change. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Ah, <laughs> looking in the man in the mirror. That's what the clarity was for that song. Asking yourself to make a change. And no message could be any clearer. If you want to make the world a better self, better place, look at yours. Ah, okay. Man in the mirror. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so you're confronting the man in the mirror. You're making the change. You're taking inspired action, and now you're trusting that this is exactly where you need to be. Holy flippin' heck, this is getting good. We're only on card two. Um, and we're at 10 minutes already, holy heck, okay. So it's like, you know that you're gonna make a change, and like, things are moving for you. 
and you're trusting that everything is working out. You're taking inspired action. You're addressing the unhealed wounds of your soul and you know that you're destined for greatness because remember last week we we're saying we're giving ourselves permission to shine. You're shining bright and in order to shine bright we need to heal the the, the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror that inner child and you're healing it and you're trusting that whatever you're going through is divinely orchestrated and you're just like you're become an unstoppable force and you're like you're not allowing anything in your way because you are on a quest and you have work to do and you're really putting in a lot of work and it's like I just feel so excited for you I just feel like you've really really stepped it up a lot a lot by the way, if you can hear piano going on, my mom is having a piano lesson. Um, I don't know if you've followed me on Instagram, but um, I did a post a week and a half ago and we, my old piano teacher who taught me for seven years sadly passed away. And as a result, all of her piano students who are about to set the Trinity of College of, uh, Trinity of College piano exams, um, they don't have a teacher. So my mom is doing extra lessons and. And that explains why we have lots of extra music going on, which is a blessing in disguise when you think about it. Okay, I feel like I want more for the testing phase. So this is from Tuesday to Friday. What else do we need to know? So we're trusting that everything's working out. We're moving quite fast. It's like, I don't see any obstacles. It's like, you, like I just feel like you're an unstoppable force. What else do we need to know, angels, for the trusting phase of the moon? Okay. Yeah, you have to trust that whatever's going on is for your highest good. This is the devil card. This is like, I see this one as fear. So I feel like if this does come up, which it will, and you just have to use that analogy that I told you about before. It's like fear, you can come on the road trip with me. You are welcome. But you can sit in the back seat, you are not driving, you are not touching the stereo, and you are definitely not going to dictate to me which way we are going to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it actually reminded me of this girl I used to teach called Whitney, and she had sass, and she was only in year three. She, she just reminds me of that, like, mm -mm -mm -mm, like, don't go there, girlfriend. And it's like, this is, whenever I see the devil card, I see this as an opportunity. It's like, she thinks that she's chained and that's probably why I heard chained to the rhythm. Can you see like the chain on the arm? It's like, but you can break free of that. I want to break free. I want to break free from the dark. Oh, and then there's actually a black. So crazy because these cards, I don't always see the same thing every time I look at it like my angels are like okay you need to pay attention to that so I see a black crow and the crow in his feet is like flying in the air and he has a crown I'm gonna to point to it with my finger right here for you to have a look at can you see that is I feel like he is bringing him his crown it's not like he's flying away it's like he's bringing him his crown and how is he gonna get his crown he just needs to just find love again because the devil up here, I don't really like the term devil, but he's like, as crazy as he lo looks, he's like, his focus is on love. It's like, he's not a bad person. He just made some bad choices or he got a little bit too overwhelmed. It's like, okay, what's your purpose? You need to solidify your why. Why are you doing this? What is the bigger purpose? You know, to give you a story for me, it's like, why am I do why am I starting coaching? You know, what is the purpose? This is not about me, you know? This is about me helping a wider audience. This is about me giving people detailed clarity. This is about me giving people accelerated help on their journey and accelerated healing. And it's like don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of the bigger picture. You know, look at the man in the mirror. Heal the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror heal the it's like heal the child and you set yourself free it's like what happened to you as a child what is this triggering what are these mirrors that are coming back to you why are you going back into fear you know it's like you're moving quickly but then all of a sudden just one person can say something and then you go back to this it's like okay how do you go from fear and depression which is level 21 or level 22 of the emotional guidance scale and how do you zip yourself all the way back up to vibrating on the frequency of love 
by doing your self-love practices. Maybe that means taking a day off or finishing early or waking up half an hour early to make yourself a stovetop chai tea latte. Like that's my self-love practices. What is yours? If you aren't able to identify it and you're new, then this is when I want you to download my number one self-love resource that you totally need to know about. It's my self-love starter kit. It's how you get onto my mailing list. And it's also, I teach you three strategies. I give you a morning mindset auto, audio, which is 15 minutes to reprogram your subconscious. If you download it and you haven't listened to it for a while, then this is the week that you totally need to be in the receptive mode. Um, I also have five minutes to bliss. It's a guided meditation to help put you on track when the shit hits the fan and life gets crazy. And you know, maybe when this comes up, you know, this could, I feel like this is a comment from someone, you know, I feel like you're on the right track, but I just feel like that just that one person knows how to push your buttons and, and you allow to throw you off track, but you, I feel like you can get on quite quickly. So don't beat yourself up if you fall off the wagon, you know? The last two weeks, I hadn't been to yoga. I was going so good for a month and then there was two weeks and I didn't go. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I know like next week I'm getting my period and I don't go to yoga for like three or four days. And it's like, okay, it doesn't matter how long it, you have been off the track. It, it, what really matters is how you move forward and you get yourself on track again. So I feel like when fear comes up, say thank you, thank you, thank you. What do I need to know? Because it's coming up, but you, it's only a thought and you, you can change a thought. Like Louise L. Hay says, it's just a thought and a thought can be changed. All right, let's get more clarity on this one, please. Oh my gosh, and then we'll totally need to go into the, the full moon. What else does my MK Love fam need to know on Knight of Wands and the Devil for the Gibbous Moon? This is them trusting themselves. What do they need to know, angels? Oh my god! We got this card last week and this made a lot of you cry. It's the Four of Wands. If everything is working out perfectly, these beautiful flowers are blooming and the Four is stability, which fits in perfect as we move into the full moon, which is in four degrees of Aquarius and 44 minutes. It's like, yeah, this is a stability, this is a celebration, it's coming. You know, when fear comes up, we just say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's it like, we're trusting, you're trusting. I feel like, I feel like this card is coming up. It's like, do you remember this? Because this is what you're working towards, or maybe this is where you are. Maybe this is where you got to, and then this bloody fear came in, or so, I feel like this is somebody saying a comment to you. It just depends, this is just a general reading. So if you want detailed clarity, book a reading. <laughs> but yeah, this, this card is coming up just to remind you that maybe this is scaring you. Maybe this is scaring you and you have to say, thank you, thank you, thank you, fear, but I've got this. It's like, do you know how amazing I am? Do you know the shit that I have been through? Like, honestly, do you know what I have been through and I have gotten through to the other side? It has made me stronger. It has made me more amazing. It has made me who I am today and I am forever grateful. I am forever grateful. It's giving me a really itchy nose, that card. Yeah, I think that's just a reminder to be like, just trust it's all working out. And I just feel like the devil card is just the fear coming up. <laughs> but like the illustration on this this is look it's just horrible it's so like ooh. but the meaning behind it is just like it's just a thought it's just a thought and a thought can be changed so whenever that comes up for me and I'm getting like overwhelmed I just grab my journal I take myself in mother nature and I just write and write and write till my hand has nothing else left to say. And then when I read it back, I'm like, oh, that's irrational bullshit. Why did that come up? Or I'll be like, oh, this was, this person triggered this within me and this is an opportunity for me to heal. Speaking of healing, on Saturday, we move into the lunar eclipse full moon in Aquarius in four degrees in 44 minutes. So this is the blood moon. So this is gonna be reddish color, but not everyone in the world is going to see it depending on where you are in the world. All right, so on the screen right now, I'm just gonna pop up what time the full moon's going to be. So on the 27th of July in LA, that's going to occur at 1.22 p.m. 
In New York, it's 4.22 p.m. Listen to that, 2-2. This is like a partnership. I feel like this is healing the wounds. I feel like this is healing your wounds. Um, in London, it's 9.22 p.m. So you guys can will all be awake during this time. On the 28th of July in Delhi, that's going to be 1.52 a.m. So you're probably going to be the only one if you're in Delhi or around that time zone. We're actually going to be asleep. In Brisbane, that's going to be 6.22 a.m. and Auckland, 8.22 a.m. So for the majority of us, we're actually going to be awake. So if I was you, I would block off an hour and a half. Remember I said it lasts for one hour and 23 minutes. If I was you, I'd be screenshotting that card. I'll just pop it up again. Boom! Um, I'm screenshot that and I would set an alarm to spend an hour and 23 minutes either meditating or being out in nature or doing something to help heal the wounds. I would listen to my forgiveness heals guided visualization. That's 30 minutes. If you listen to that during that time, which is what I'm going to be doing, um, I would recommend that you, um, where can I do that? I wouldn't do it at the beach because I wouldn't feel safe. I'd probably do it at home and then go to the beach for the rest of the journaling. That's probably what I'll do. Because that's 6.22 in the morning and it's still dark here. It's not light until 7 a.m. So we're in winter, but it's not really winter. So I'm just wearing a light poncho, darling. <laughs> I don't know why the British accent came in. But anyway, so I would I would highly recommend if you if you are ready and you are willing to forgive yourself and you're at the stage where you're like, I'm over this bullshit, I'm gonna look at the man in the mirror and I'm gonna heal these wounds. I feel like th this is just all about massive healing this week because we're in new territory and there's going to be, you know, there's going to be things that people are going to say, they're going to rustle your feathers. So just spend time, like honestly, make time, like an hour and a half time where you could do that. So if I was in LA, I would be asking to finish work at like lunchtime so I could go home and spend that time. Oh my gosh, I would just be finding any excuse possible. I'd be like, I've just got a doctor's appointment. Um, or I've got a dentist appointment and I will be in it, blah, blah, blah. I would make that a priority. I would move heaven and earth to give yourself an hour and 23 minutes around that time. I just think it's so important. It just depends what level at you're at. Are you even willing to forgive yourself? Or, you know, are you just going to continue on telling yourself all this bullshit that you're not worthy and you're unlovable? Because it's not true. It is literally not true. <sighs> I just, I just really would, I'm just visualizing all of you around the world meditating at the same time. Imagine, I just got goosebumps, imagine if all of us were meditating at the same time, all of us were listening to Forgiveness Heals at the same time. Do you, um, if, if we harness the energies and that healing vibe of everyone at the same time, can you imagine how powerful that would be? You know, we're close to almost 20,000. Imagine if 20,000 MK Love fam were meditating at the same time and then do, like journaling after or sipping tea or taking your shoes off and going for a walk. Like obviously people in London won't be doing that because it's super late at night. I don't know, like what will you do? Take a bath. I just, I cannot recommend highly enough. Like this energy is so powerful. Eclipse energy is so powerful. The last lunar eclipse, I got engaged. I got engaged on a full moon and the numerology was 888. On the 8th of August, 8th of August, 8, 8, 2017, 1, 7 is 8. 888, I got engaged. Like this is just so powerful, this energy. So you harness it and use it to your advantage. All right, now that I've spoken forever about this and this is going to be a long reading. Um, my camera's already cut out, so this is part two. It only records for 20 minutes, 29 minutes straight. Anyways, so let's get more clarity. We haven't even pulled any cards yet. All right, let's pull some cards. What do we need to know for the lunar, let me get this right. The lunar eclipse full moon in four degrees and 44 minutes of Aquarius. What do we need to know for the full moon angels? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? One card please and then we'll ask for more clarity. What do we need to know? Can you fall out please? I don't want to mess it up. Hold on, let me just double tap it. I've messed it. I think I've been talking too much. What do my MK Love Fam need to know? 
there's a lot of energies that just came out we got four cards there's actually five I'm gonna pull the first one that I saw okay so the eight of swords this looks like chaos and pain but it's actually not have a look at this little birdie up here what kind of bird is it I don't even know but this little bird here is like they, these two can communicate to each other and this little birdie has the power to help this little um, swan out and not get tangled in the barbed wire and he can totally help him out but you have to stop flapping around if you're gonna flap your wings around it's gonna get caught in the bars and it's gonna be painful so I feel like this is a time for you not to overreact but I think this is a time for you to be really calm there can be people that can trigger you and if they do trigger you or you allow them to trigger you um, then you're gonna hurt you're gonna be wind up hurt and your wings are gonna get all cut up and I don't want you to get to that stage you know because you're better than that it's just an opportunity for you to either to trust somebody else this is kind of fitting in with the other face of the moon but this is like you you need to it's like how do I see I see that this is an opportunity for you not to get tangled and for you to release yourself and to trust this little birdie up here because he can help you out I see him as your is your intuition your highest self he can totally help you out during this time but you have to trust him you have to trust that you're on the right path and we're going to untangle your wounds I untangle you so it doesn't hurt I'm just gonna pull the cards as they fell out because they kind of like fell out in a fan then the other card that came out for the full moon is the four of swords this is about she's kind of sitting in like laying in the mummy position and I see this as seeking peace and this is like seeking inner peace and she's got her sword but she's not using it and she's kind of like <sighs> she's just breathing with ease and there's one two three four five six well, there's lots of different lotus flowers around her I don't even know I don't know what the lotus flower symbolizes I think it's peace I'll have to find that one out but it's like she's just and on the sword is actually a green eye it's like using your intuition and it's like seek peace it's like just I see this as meditation I see this as finding your happy place and seeking peace because the swords represents challenges and intellects and I feel like remember I said to you it's like don't struggle and don't don't react to this and I see this as maybe this is it could go two ways but I feel like this is this is the way your higher self wants you to go it doesn't want you to react it wants you to untangle your wounds from the barbed wire very carefully and seek peace because this lo this love and this neutral state of in a higher vibration is going to set you free don't lower your vibration and fight contrast like don't become like a, a ram like don't fight seek love be a lover not a hater then the other card that came out was the queen of swords these are all to do with swords how interesting is that this is all to do with swords. This is beautiful. I pulled this for a client recently, Tanya. I pulled this for my beautiful Tanya in her reading. And this one is about like transformation, rising above, there's butterflies. She's also got this, um, it looks like a bone from something, but I see this as, a, as the moon, like the moon guiding you, your higher self. But she, it's like covered in jewels. Like, can you look at that closely? I don't know if you can see it. Like see the jewels at the top they're just like hanging down she's just peaceful and you can see what have we got we've got these new what's flower is that I don't know flowers but there's three of them and they're both like blooming and they're just beautiful and purple represents like the higher self the crown chakra and seeking enlightenment ooh so interesting because like I feel different things with different different times of the moon that I read for you I see this as peace I see this as rising above I see this as uh, 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 I just see that as really really beautiful then the other card that I got is the three of Pentacles have a look at this one right here 
the Three of Pentacles. This one is like teamwork. It's like maybe you can't do this by yourself. Maybe you need to seek out a friend, a mentor. Maybe you need guidance. Maybe you need to book a private reading from me if you're so stuck. And maybe you've been caught in this cycle and you don't know how to get out of it then that's when you book yourself a private reading with me. But please be quick because I've only got like three positions left for next week. Um, I see a chameleon, which is the ability to be adaptable to change. But I see this as like working together with someone, someone who's going to help rise up. Have a look. He's like pushing. She's higher than he is. Okay. And then the other card that just came up, as a part of this full moon series, because there's one, two, three, four, this is the fifth card, we've got the seven of swords. This card is like you've you've seen the darkness, but you're not a hundred percent pure darkness, if that makes sense. Like he's still got um what do I call it? Like on his legs and his nose. It's like also like running away from problems. It's like you don't want to I feel like some of you may have had like a tarnished reputa reputation or maybe someone doesn't see you for who you are now and maybe some people only see like th the darkness in you but they don't like you've changed and evolved and they just see the old aspects of you and they don't see how far you have come and whenever you get together they kind of like rehash and be like oh my god you remember when you used to do this and it's like I'm actually not that same person anymore but I feel like this is like setting the record straight doing the right thing by you and not um, not going back to who you used to be because you're better than that. Oh, okay. Let me give you a quick summary because this reading is gone for quite a while. Anyway, so Monday we're starting the action phase of the moon. This is when we're going to, this is when we're going to work with the man in the mirror. You know, seek love as you're going through this new phase. You're taking off the mask of who you once were and you're like allowing yourself, your true authentic self to come through. And that's coming through as you're taking action because you're not who you used to be. Then on Tuesday to Friday, we're moving into the trusting phase of the moon. This is the give us moon. This is when we, what was the affirmation? I trust the process as everything is working out for me. So we're going through a stage of like, we're on a roll. The energy is moving super quickly, but the fear is coming in, but we're going to rise above the fear. and We're going to say thank you because this is where we're headed. We're headed towards this stability and this new blossoming chapter. But sometimes this comes through, but when it does, we have to be very mindful about where we are. You have to pay particular attention to your self-love practices. So when fear comes through, or you experience contrast, it doesn't throw you off your path because you have come so far. And if it does throw you off your path, don't get cranky at yourself. You just be like, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for my highest good. There's obviously a lesson for you to learn. And when you learn it, you'll just get back on the path. So that's Tuesday to Friday, depending on where you are in the world. So on Saturday, um, this is in Australia, by the way, so this actually could be your Friday. Um, we move into the lunar eclipse, the full moon in four degrees and 44 minutes of Aquarius. So contrast is going to come. We're going to get a little bit tangled up, but don't flap your whims and wings and like overreact. Just know this little body here is going to set you free and is going to help untangle you. And as you become untangled, you find this inner peace. You know, you, you become a lover instead of a hate, a fighter. And as you do that, you start rising up to the queen of swords. You see love, you've transformed, you become this beautiful, nurturing woman. And the butterflies are symbolizing that this is a, a um, uh, what do you call it? Like a turning point in your life. And, but, but in order to get to where you need to go, you actually need to seek out people to help you. You can't always do this by yourself. You can do it by yourself, but it's going to take longer. So if you need help and clarity and guidance, ask somebody for help. And I've also mentioned if you need a private reading, then this is when you totally need to book one. And just know that you're becoming this beautiful person. You're not who you used to be. This darkness doesn't consume you anymore. I kind of feel a bit like confused with the last bit of the reading. It's like seek love. Don't you need to seek love? 
Um, don't become like reactive to people. Heal your wounds. Listen to forgiveness heals at the time of the full moon. And just know that you're not who you used to be anymore. If you have any um, shadow aspects of yourself that don't serve your highest good, then this is an opportunity to heal and to grow. I'm not too sure what the theme song is for this one. I feel like it's actually going back to what this card is like, the man in the mirror. I feel like it's something to do with the men. I'll figure it out anyway. I'll pop it on Instagram. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching and for being so patient because and being so um, supportive of my channel. I truly appreciate you every time you like my video, every time you even watch my video, and let alone comment, subscribing, turning on the notifications, all that delicious goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, I'll be responding to your comments from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m., which is the first hour in which this video is live. And if you haven't already purchased Forgiveness Heals, harness and this supercharged energy, this eclipse energy, and listen to it at the time of the full moon. You can listen to it at any time. On a full moon, it's very powerful, let alone on a lunar eclipse. I can't stress how important that is. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I will love and leave you, and I will talk to you in the comments. <laughs>